95.3 The Bear. Good morning. Scott, it's Walt. How are you doing? Fantastic. Mayor Maddox, honored to speak with you on this this day as uh, folks reflect and, and look forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's a, a tale of two emotions. I know, at least for me, is sadness for everyone who lost their lives, uh, everyone who lost their home or business, and everyone who was impacted in some negative fashion. But also, there's this feeling of joy and peace when you think about how we've overcome all those challenges, how we've rebuilt together, um, how we've mourned together, how we've done all these things together. And so it's with those mixed emotions that we you know, we take today and we pause and we remember uh, one of the most significant moments in this community's history. And if you, if you, I think if you looked at your um, political opus, if you will, it would be here on the website, uh, Tuscaloosa to five years forward.com. We've got a link to that at 95, three, the bear, not to, uh, hijack your your website there it's just probably a little easier for people to find it that way it is amazing when it, when you look at, at at this website and the way that everything's been laid out it is really staggering at what you and and all the people working so hard in the city have been able to do in five years it certainly has been a, a team effort and, and the challenges i think sometimes got lost in in the scope of the recovery and what i mean by that is of the of the 5,300 homes and businesses that were impacted, two thirds of those were ultimately either demolished or was destroyed outright. And of the housing, 71% of that was rental with a median income of less than 25,000. One third of the businesses impacted were built before 1972, which means uh, they did not meet any city zoning or building codes that had been put into effect. And plus, uh, $600 million worth of infrastructure needs in the 12 and a half percent of the city was destroyed. All those things layered on top of it would be months, if not years, before you would receive one dime from the federal government to deal with it. And yet, through all those challenges, look at where we've come. And I am just so proud of our citizens. I'm so proud of our team here at City Hall um, because we've, we've, you know what, the thing I love about Tuscaloosa is we don't really make excuses. We just, you know, excuse this phrase, man up and Mm -hmm. get it done. And Mm -hmm. that's what I love about Tuscaloosa. Well, where do you, if you're looking back over five years, how do you summarize um, who you were before April 27th and who you are after April 27th, not as a mayor, but as a man? I am a lot more, I I feel more blessed, I think is the best way to put it. April 27th uh, imprinted imprinted into me that life is so fragile. And I don't take for granted the things I did take for granted prior to that day. Um, life is not fair and life is unfragile. I mean, life is fragile. And then those are the two things that have stuck with me. And because of that, I think it, it's made me even more compassionate and, um, you know, more sensitive to things that maybe I wasn't before. And, and I tell you the other thing, too, and I know this sounds like I'm putting on the mayor's hat, but I'm not. It makes me damn glad I live in Tuscaloosa, Alabama because this is a place whose generosity and compassion um, was overwhelming. And I'm so glad that God allowed me to live at this time in the city's history to see what this city could do in its darkest hours. And to, to govern a, a broken people, you know, who, who and, and, and we talk about it, and every level of infrastructure was impacted. I mean, what a, what a nightmare to, to try to decide what in the world you tackle first. Well, fortunately, great training and preparedness came into effect. But one of the things I tell our team here at the city all the time is I wish the people that I work for could see you in action. It wasn't me. I didn't do anything magical, and I've gotten way too much credit. It was our 1,300-plus employees. It was police officers manning an intersection when they couldn't communicate with anyone. It was fire and rescue going out, and when their fire station's destroyed in Alberta, they're going out providing services. It's countless acts of uh, community support from Northport. You know, a text I got from Bobby Herndon, um, for, you know, he couldn't get in touch with me, but he sent me a text, and it said, Walt, we're coming over the bridge. I mean, when you get a text like that, you think, we can do anything. We can meet this challenge. When the university provided its police officers to man intersections so our police officers could do search and rescue. I mean, it, it's just, it was countless acts of kindness by the citizens, by surrounding communities, and a heroic effort of our employees who I can't tell you 
how heroic they are. I mean, I'm so proud of them. I'm proud to work with them. And, um, you know, I think I hope you can hear it in my voice. It's an, it was an honor of a lifetime to work alongside some of the finest people I've had the opportunity to ever meet. Well, I can tell you what, Mayor Maddox, um, you know, I've lived in Tuscaloosa for well, since 2009. And uh, like you said, I'm just super proud uh, to be able to call myself a resident of Tuscaloosa. And I want to ask you before uh, we let you go, you know, is there is there one thing you'd like to uh, let our listeners know? One one final um, comment uh, concerning the move forward. We, we're, we're growing and we're, we're expanding and things are looking uh, better than ever. You hadn't seen nothing yet because the way we've approached recovery was to deal with those issues that I talked about earlier, the rental housing, uh, the commercial nonconformity and in the infrastructure, because we dealt with them at the beginning phases. It's going to allow a more robust uh, recovery in the years to come. So you haven't seen anything yet. And I want to close by thanking the two of you, because so many people had to turn to radio for information in the hours and days following April 27th. And 95.3 The Bear was always there. And that meant something. That was a rock by which people could hold on to uh, when the waves were crashing in. And I thank you for being there for the people of Tuscaloosa. Hey, it, it was an honor to uh, be chosen, you know, like you said earlier, for that point in time. And uh, we, we all move forward together. That's thank, right. Thank you, Mayor Maddox. Hey, God bless. Y'all take care. Okay. All right, bud.